Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to use Adobe XD to design these nice and simple pricing tables. We are going to add some subtle hover animations, as you can see the background shadow is changing as well, the icons are animating as well, but we are also going to do that for the buttons below. So as you can see the buttons are changing the size, they are changing the corner radius as well as the color. All of that in today's video, so let's get started. So here we have the Adobe XD file and you guys can obviously create your own file using your own icons. I'm using icons from Envato Elements, they are premium ones, I will link them down in the description below if you want to get them for yourself and I really recommend you do because the choice you have on Envato Elements is just massive. So here we have the Adobe XD document and I called it pricing table, as you can see it's 1920 by 1080. Let's quickly go ahead and create the grid and inside of the grid let's quickly jump inside the columns and lower the opacity down and for the gutter width I'll use something like 40 just so that we have a nice big gap between our gutters. As you can see I already gone ahead and prepared all the colors and all the character styles. I'm using Poppins, it's a free Google font and I will of course link it down in the description for you guys to download and I really recommend that you use free Google fonts as much as you want and as much as you need until you get to that professional um, level and professional stage however you want to call it but as I mentioned if you're using something like Envato Elements you can also purchase and download pre uh, premium fonts to use them in your projects. So looking right here uh, as I said we have poppins and let's start with the text right here at the top so I'll press T on my keyboard and type in something like pricing options and I will click outside and use this Poppins 48 uh, font. I will click right here, then right here. And for the spacing, let's go with 60. So I'm just holding my shift and my left mouse uh, key. Now let's uh, use something for the pricing background. Now for the pricing background itself, uh, we are not going to go crazy. We are just going to use something uh, really simple. And sim let's use rectangle, for example. So as you can see, we have 12 columns because we have threes. I will use uh, the four column because we have uh, starter, we have pro and we have enterprise right here. So we can use four columns for each. If you have more, so for example, if you have four pricing options, you're going to use two columns. If you have six, for example, you're going to use two columns and so on. So for the dimensions, let's use width of 520. Let's use height of 7. 12 for example I will put it there and for the corner radius let's use 20 I will uh, remove my border I will include this color and I will include the shadow now for the shadow let's see we can use something nice and huge let's see maybe we can use 50 we can use 40 and we can use 80 now for the uh, opacity of this shadow let's use something like eight percent so something like that uh, nice subtle easy and clean to the eye so if i press preview right here you can just clearly see it in there now let's start with our icons now for the starter i'll simply drag and drop my icon inside i'll position it to the middle and if you just want to be sure let's rename this pricing bg let's call it i will simply select these two click right here to make sure that my icon is in the center and i will also make sure it's in the center like this so nice and simple let's move along i'll position this to the top now for these pricing options let's move down i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it i'll position it right here and i'll also make sure let's see maybe we can use something like 40 I think that will work quite well for all of these. So first things first, I will use Poppins 36 and let's call this starter. I will use the color blue, simply click on it and let's see, one, two, three, four. Make sure it's at 40, it is, nice and simple. So I will move along and now include my pricing. So for the pricing, let's see, maybe we can use back to this 48, make it red and I'll call it five, let's see like this, five per month. So let's say that that's the payment that they are making and I'll position it here, one, two, three, four. 
so make sure it's 40 same like it is on top next i will hit ctrl d position this down and i'll use 28 and i'll use this color so let's see maybe we can use text something like this so five pages and blocks make sure it's at 40. so let's say that this is some sort of let's say template gallery or something like that where people can buy let's say adobe xd templates why not and then for the pricing options in question they are getting more or less options so therefore we need this pricing table obviously on our website to give people options so depending on their budget they can choose whichever pricing strategy they want and whichever pricing strategy fits their budget obviously so for this next one let's see maybe we can give them something like limited template gallery because obviously this is just a starter pack let's give this email support like that and finally for the hosting because maybe we are offering hosting of these templates as well let's call it basic hosting like so now i'll jump inside of my layers panel and simply organize some of these layers because we are going to do uh, animation in just a little bit so let's give this uh, so starter let's move it right here to the top pricing goes below let's now organize these so pricing options is going to move um, to the top five pages library email support basic support and now finally we are only left with our button uh, to be positioned down below so for the button itself let's use a rectangle tool one more time i'll position it somewhere around here for the dimensions let's go with 337 and 77 for example and i'll position it to be at the center like this so just be 40 from our text make sure it's in the center if it's not simply select these two click right here to position it to the center and i'll duplicate this basic hosting and position this second copy right here like in this and i'll also make sure to call this bt and bg for example select these two group them like so now for the bottom color let's go with this color for example yeah i think that works well and for the text color let's go with pure white and i will also go ahead and add it right here so select my text click right here to add it because we need that pure white now for the corner radius let's give it corner radius of five for example something like that let's go back and we are going to go ahead and group our button but i don't like this color maybe we can use the lighter color so color for the text i think that works much better remove the border color and that's basically it let's give this something like buy now like that make sure that it's in the center of our button it is hit ctrl g call it btn and hit ctrl k to create a component right here now why we are creating component from this button instead of creating one giant component because we are going to include a simple component state of hover and nothing else so inside of the hover we are actually going to change the width and the color of this button in question so as you can see right here in the components we have the button and i'm going to simply go ahead and add a new hover state i'm going to call it hover and inside of the hover state let's jump inside so as you can see hover is selected for the btn bg we're going to click on this blue color now once again i'm going to uh, extend it so let's see maybe we can use something a bit different for the width so let's use 357 for example press enter and i'm just going to make sure that i include this to be in the center and let's see for the corner radius maybe we can put 20 just to go a bit over the top now inside of our hover let's create it to be like this so default state hover state now let's see in the default state maybe we can position it to be in the center like this let's see if that will work so let's see hover default it does work hmm let's actually do this manually so inside of the hover i'll position it to be right around here let's say and position my text because we need to align everything properly inside of the default state let's do this manually once again so i think that works just fine 
let's quickly check it okay that works well so let's leave it at that now the next thing for us is to group this entire component and to create one giant component from our pricing next we're going to use that same component for all of these other components so let's see how it's done so right here i'm going to go ahead and go from starter all the way down to basic hosting hit Control g and i'm going to call it text because we are going to change that text in just a little bit Next, I'm going to group everything, hit Control G and call it, for example, card or pricing or whatever you want and hit, let's call it pricing. Hit Control K to create a component. And now in our uh, new state, let's go right here. I'm actually going to call it hover. Let's go to the default state, pricing BG. I'm going to exclude this shadow. I'm going to use default state for my button like that and inside of the hover state I'm simply going to go back and include my shadow back so that's how it's going to look like when people uh, hover on it. Let's go to the default state, click right here, preview how it looks like, as you can see it looks really nice and for the button as you can see it looks really nice as well so we have this nice dynamic movement of our button, it's changing the color and it's changing the um, corner radius as well so that's how it looks like for the first one so let's go ahead and maybe we can change the pricing options text color let's see maybe we can go with the blue i think it looks nice now next up i'm going to duplicate this component so let's go back and simply hold your alt or option key duplicate it and duplicate it one more time because as i said we need three instances align it up you can hit center right here it's going to align perfectly so I'm going to move this to the top, move this all the way down. So we have them like this. Now next, we are going to change uh, some of these icons. Now, as you can see, we have hover and default state in each of them. So let's quickly go ahead and change the text to some of them. So we are going to have pro here. Instead of $5 per month, it's going to be $28 per month. Instead of five pages, it's going to have 20 pages unlimited so i'm going to go like this unlimited template uh, template library now here it's going to have phone plus email support and finally for the hosting it's going to have dedicated hosting now here we're going to have something called enterprise like this it's instead of five dollars per month it's going to cost them uh, 49 dollars per month now they're going to have unlimited pages uh, and blocks. They're going to have unlimited template library. They're going to have dedicated support like so. And finally, they're going to have advanced hosting because these are some of these advanced users. Now for the icons themselves, uh, I have them right here. I'm going to simply click, drag and drop my icons onto these uh, other icons. And as you can see, it's going to replace them automatically. If it doesn't, simply select it right here. Click, drag and drop nice and simple inside. Now let's go ahead because we finished this first one. What we need to do is actually make some copies. So I'm going to jump inside select my pro icon select my text hit Control c close it go to the hover as you can see it now changed i'm going to click delete starter delete text hit Control v to paste them in and now as you can see we have this uh, nice and simple uh, between default state and hover state as you can see it looks basically the same this text and this icon now we are going to jump inside and change this as well so hit Control c close it, go back to the hover, select these two, hit delete, hit control or command V to paste it in. And basically now we are done. I'm going to go back to default state on all of them. And now let's uh, quickly add one final touch to these. I'm going to make these icons animate just a little bit because once again, Adobe XD's capabilities of these animations are extremely limited. But with these limited uh, animations, we can clearly make some mark and clearly make some interest uh, for our pricing options. So for this first one, what I'm actually going to do is inside of the default state, I'm simply going to select my starter icon, hold my shift key and move up two times just so it looks like this rocket is flying sort of like this. Now next for this pro 
icon. What I'm going to do is jump inside my hover state, move it up. So once again, I'm going to make sure it moves up. So shift one, two, and also I'm going to rotate it just a little bit like so. So as you can see, when I go between states, it sort of goes up and rotates just a little bit. And now finally for this enterprise, inside of the hover state, I'm just going to move it uh, up. I'm not going to experiment too much. So as you can see in the default, in the hover state, that's how it looks like. So finally, let's hide our grid. Let's hit preview. I'm going to bring in my preview window right here. When I hover over the card, you can see that we have this nice and subtle uh, drop down basically and uh, this nice and subtle drop down color. We have all of these icon animations. As you can see, everything looks nice and clean. Text is the same between all of these. Finally, let me show you the buttons. You can see how the buttons look like and everything is nice and simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comments below what would you like to see next from this channel? Would you like to see some more of these smaller animations or would you like to see more of these long form tutorials where we go in depth into let's say wireframing and creation of mobile apps or websites or stuff like that? Let me know down in the comments below and I will also make sure to follow up with you guys and to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching the video, I really hope you found some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.